on cue for election season, we now have a monkeypox global emergency. Mpox has been reported in the Democratic Republic of the Congo for more than a decade. And the number of cases reported each year has increased steadily over that period. Last year, reported cases increased significantly and already the number of cases reported so far this year has exceeded last year's total, with more than 14,000 cases and 524 deaths. Today, the emergency committee met and advised me that, in its view, the situation constitutes a public health emergency of international concern. I have accepted that advice. And once the World Health Organization begins to speak on these aspects, immediately you start seeing people either taking sides or you start seeing people panic, worry, and you start seeing that people begin to have flashbacks. Flashbacks of the pandemic. In Luke 21 11, it tells us of a moment that could arrive where it talks about uh, earthquakes in diverse places, famines, pestilences, fearful sights, and great signs shall there be from the heavens. Hundreds of shoppers rush into a Los Angeles Costco this morning with this warning. Supplies are being rationed to keep up with the unprecedented coronavirus panic shopping. Customers run down store aisles at full speed and then quickly start loading up their carts. And many of these pandemics are part of predictive programming. In, in the film Outbreak, it, it talked about a pandemic that got started because of a monkey. They called it the Motaba virus outbreak. And this virus was able to spread from Zaire all the way to California. It became airborne. And once it became airborne, a pandemic begun on Earth. There is nothing new under the sun. These people love to do what they do to wear out the saints. There's so many. So many so fast. Apparently they all got it at a movie theater. Dr. Daniels? Yeah. There's something I think you should see. This way. The patient was admitted a week ago after a car accident. He's had no contact with anyone in isolation. Airborne. Folks, people are being worn out by Satan. When you turn on the news, you're either hearing about UFOs, you're hearing about fallen angels, you're hearing about entities, you're hearing about life on other planets, you're hearing about inflation, you're hearing about job losses, you start hearing about pandemics, you start hearing about Trump versus Kamala, you start having a wide variety of a storm that is hitting our spirit life. And when we talk about the spirit of fear, we have to be careful because what we saw during the jab pandemic, it was diabolical. It was people turning against people. It was people arguing with people. It was divide and conquer. Worried customers have been snapping up everything in sight. Store shelves nationwide are dwindling or totally empty, like at this Target near Washington, D.C. I can't believe what people are doing inside. Shelves are empty. It's like we're going to out of nowhere. It really is unexplainable. The sudden push for preparedness has stores rushing to replenish. President Trump urging moderation from consumers. You don't have to buy so much. Take it easy. Just relax. If there's anything we can do during whatever they have planned with what they're announcing or saying, it's Romans 12, 15. Rejoice with them that do rejoice and weep with them that weep. Don't stop being the ambassador that Jesus Christ has called you to be on this earth. 
the new world order, the great reset. They're now talking about singularity is going to happen in 10 to 15 years. Uh, the bombardment of deception is at an all time high. And when this happens, anxiety starts to creep in. Depression begins to creep in. Worries begin to creep in. Don't you think I worry? But how are you going to be able to do this? How are you going to be able to take up your family? How are you going to be able to... Worries upon worries, they happen to me. They will happen to you. But my brother and sister in the Lord, whatever plans that they have, may we remember Psalm 34, 7, the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him and delivereth them. Whether it's fearful sights in the heavens, whether it's pandemics and more quarantine and martial law, do not forget to rejoice with them that rejoice. But also don't forget to weep with them that weep. Because God has put you on this earth in 2024 for a purpose. And the devil wants to distract you from that purpose. May the Lord rebuke intrusive thoughts, deceptions, and lies from Satan. And may we stay focused as their deception begins to unfold. Remembering that we're not from this world. Can we pray for just a few moments? Heavenly Father, you know the brothers and you know the sisters that are watching this right now. You know what their marriage is like. You know what their family is like. You know what their worries are like. You know what their bank account is like. You know that many of them still have trauma, traumas of PTSD from the pandemic where they may have lost their employment because of something. Heavenly Father, whatever it is that these brothers and sisters are going through, may they be reminded that you have already overcome. May they be reminded that the angel of the Lord encampeth round about them that fear him. But you don't just encamp, you delivereth them because you're the almighty. You're the one that was and is to come. You are the only way. You're the true way. Jesus Christ, anxiety, depression, those nights that you go to bed crying. Listen, I get it. I know it's hard. But in the name of Jesus Christ, it's time to rise up in the name of Jesus. Submit all of these thoughts. Cast down these imaginations to the word of God. And let the word of God win today. In the name of Jesus. Amen. May God bless you. Okay? May God bless you. Do not let this world change you. No, in the name of Jesus, via the power of Jesus, via the living God that lives in you, you go out there and you change this world. God is worth it. He is awesome. And he loves you. Would you mind taking a few seconds to share this video with a friend and or family member? It goes a very long way. As a non-monetized channel, you taking the time to do this for this channel and other channels as well goes a very long way. So God bless you for that. Also, thanks for those that consider supporting this ministry. We really, really appreciate that as well. I'm going to leave a video on the screen right now, which we made several weeks ago talking about a doomsday strain. Listen, they have plans that are wicked, but don't fear because God has already won. God bless you and see you in a couple of days with a new video.